It's Saturday night in Milton Keynes. You know what that means. Let's play hockey. And a face-off win there for Craig Peacock up against Corey McEwen, two former Peterborough players. And Robertson, who we're talking about there, comes in, but he uh, almost burst the tyre and Lightning are able to clear. That's a turnover here, and Solway have the attack early on with John Dunbar, their top scorer. And that's retrieved by Tim Wallace. That's the chance of a let's go Lightning start. Playing in front of this crowd, Carter, what's it like when you hear the noise out on the ice from, from the home fans here at Milton Keynes? Yeah, it's incredible. It's just great to see how passionate the fans are for the team. There's support there every week. The turn over there and an open net wow. for Dunbar and it goes wide. If you've got any questions for me for Matt Matter, be sure to put them in. Any shout outs, we'll read them out and straight it's on the screen shot. for you. Shot there from Ben Brown and, and Nags will pick this one up under pressure from Gardner. Does clear the zone. Rockkiss will look to come away. That's the check back. Lovely open ice pass there to Dylan Lawrence. A nice bit of defensive work for, from Kern. Meant that Lawrence couldn't quite get the shots off. Ross Green fires that one in looking for Wallace and that almost deflected back into the net and that was covered up well by Curtis Warburton in the net. So a chance for us to catch a bit of a breather here, Carter, and very frenetic and then to end start so far. Is that what you would have expected from both these teams? Yes, yeah, Solway came out faster in the first few minutes, but MK are starting to get going now, so let's hope they do something special in this shift. When you're on the opposite end of that, when the other team's just keeping the puck in your zone, it must be quite frustrating defensively when you just can't get a hold of the puck or get the puck clear yeah, from your zone. Yeah, for sure. It sucks your energy, and when the other team get going, it's kind of hard to, to change the momentum. And we've got a delay penalty on the call here for hooking. Back to Stewart. No clear shooting lane yet. He finds his way to Herman, who shoots that. And uh, the referee blew the whistle very quickly. It was a semi-appeal for a goal there. We'll take a look back on the replay of that one. Great one-time shot from Rory Herman. And the uh, player's closest was uh, saying there was a goal. I mean, the puck was underneath the body of Warburton there. It didn't look like it crossed the line, and the referee was very, very quick with the whistle there. Herman does well to keep the puck alive. And let's find Ruckis oh. in space. Shots on the rebound there, and Herman couldn't quite get the shot away. Stewart fires that one, and that's redirected it in. That's a great tip from Tom's in front. Tom's Ruckis in front of the net with the redirect. We'll take a look at that one again on the replay. Liam Stewart fires it one in from the blue line and lovely redirect. Was it better behind the goal? Sends the keeper the wrong way. A lovely bit of play from Tom's Ruckis. You played against Griff last year when you were with Leeds Carter. Were you on the on the receiving end of any of those hits from him? <laughs> I can remember, but um, more than likely. <laughs> oh, I know. That's a big hit there big from Griffin, hit. and the uh, referee's arm's gone up, though, and uh, James Griffin's going to sit two minutes. Hold that one up and kill a few more seconds on the penalty kill. Smart penalty killing so far, isn't it? Henderson, the pass forward, though, and another delayed penalty. And uh, the whistle will go there as a uh, player went into the net, lost the helmet, the goal came off, and... Will Curling took a tumble. So we think we have tripping minor here and it's on Liam Stewart. So we're going to have five seconds of uh, five on three. As uh, DJ Bertie uh, plays a bit of yellow submarine. So I don't think he approves <laughs> of that call. Wallace now, he's got Corey McEwen there. McEwen with a shot with Griffin around the net. Puck is still loose. It's still come loose and the shot's come through. Nobody knows where it is. Tim Wallace picks it up and great play from Lightning here, having a few offensive chances here on this penalty kill. Wallace and Griffin. Griffin again just takes it to the boards. He's happy just to uh, kill some more seconds on this man advantage for Solway. 3-10 remaining in the period. Very, very good play from Lightning. 
But Asanari invades his man and he gets a great pass here and there's a chance here for Solway. Lovely pass to the back door and Gardner there. Very support there. The odd man rush came about. And I think Ray Lightning just had the park down that opposite end. They were susceptible to the break there and a very good stretch pass and you can't give a player like Nolan Gardner a space like that. His 28th goal of the season and Bit of a sucker punch for the Lightning there, Carter, because they were kidding that penalty very well up until that moment. Yeah. Solder does well to uh, keep it in the zone, but Solway turned this over. And that looked to be all that she wrote for this opening stanza. Lewis Christian Solder, happy to see the time off. So Lightning went ahead on the power play with a well taken redirect goal from Tom's right kiss. But Nolan Gardner on a man advantage of Solway's own, tied for scores late in the period. So after the first 20, it's MK Lightning 1, Solway Sharks 1. <laughs> As we're ready for the puck drop and another face-off win there from Craig Peacock. Max is first to the rebound. He looks to try and bring this puck out. Picks out a teammate in Ruckkiss. He'll come forward. Couldn't get a pass on, so he's happy just to dump that one into the zone. That's five back through. What a shot from Dylan Lawrence. One time past the glove of Curtis Warburton, and it's 2 1 to the Lightning. That's a great job from Toms there, getting the puck in. And Dale has said it before, one of the best shooters in the league. Not surprised. And it just came just from a casual dump into the zone there. Warburton got a touch on it. and. Tom's never gave up to that, and you just saw the behind goal replay. Dylan Lawrence, one time, just picked it into the one spot that Warburton was just never going to get to. I assume, I assume that the question for Vonda was for you and not for me. Shot there from Ben Solder from the blue line, and that's well held there by Warburton. And obviously, Solway's coach Martin Grubb is, uh, was your coach for GB under-20s as well, and... Uh, He's a very, very good coach, isn't he? Can't yeah, say. Martin's a great coach. He knows what he's talking about. And Dylan Lawrence with some time and space. Buries it under Curtis Warburton. Check that one up on the replay. Great work from Rory Herman. Great strength there to win the puck back. And Dylan Lawrence with all the time and the space there fires it past Curtis Warburton. Deeks him, forces him down low and fires it through the five hole. So that'll be Lawrence with his second of the night, assisted by Rory Herman. Thanks, Don Barber. It was a poke check and Max Stewart's happy just to clear that zone. Caddy Robertson now lays this one off to Dunbar. Peacock. Pass intended for Robertson and it's picked up by McEwen. Whoa! And, uh, John Dunbar took a bit of an exception there to being hit. And there's a delay penalty there. And looking for a redirect from Corey McEwen. Stewart back to Nags. And a penalty, I think, on the call there. And a misconduct call as well on Griffin. Looking to uh, find a pass. Looks for Gardner, who got in front of the net, doesn't quite get the connection that he wanted. Back to Peacock, shoots that one through, a bobbling puck, and it just went wide. And somehow that puck stays out, some scrambling defence there great in the save zone. from Will. Good save again from Curling, deflects it over the net. BT keeps it in the zone, though. Nice backhand pass and very good defensive work. And Liam Stewart with a chance to break through. Well, he got taken out by two players there, and the referee's hand went up straight away. That's definitely a penalty. I think we can agree on that one. Great pass across there from Gardner looking for Henderson. And a quick save down low, but it's pushed in there. And Will Curling's not happy. The net was off, but the goal looks to have been given. I think that puck was under Will. I think that's what he's complaining about as well. The net and the puck was under there. So it'll be so interesting to see what happens. Discussion there. I mean, Will kind of made a great initial save with pad save down low. 
No goal. And the goal's been washed out. And the uh, Sharks are not happy. As far as that one, I think that was a pass, but uh, ended up being a good save there from Warburton. Puck loose in front. Finds its way back to Stewart. Calm play there. Finds teammate out wide. Herman behind the net. Oh, my. <laughs> Another Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again. Rory Herman. Wow. He loves the Michigan. I mean, I'm I'm going to have to say, Carter, that was just absolute filth, really. That was just filthy. That should come with a warning. Absolutely. That's incredible to see. Absolute skills. You can see the boys on the bench. They're all buzzing. They can't believe it they can cause the lightning problems here so they won't be too disheartened so lightning will still need to be switched on and play for the full 60 field great pass oh Almost that's a great Hamill. play from them guys great play in the and a great back check there too very very good back checking and very good save from warburton as well he had to react quickly to get down low to that field Finds Brown. Ben Brown with a shot though and save with the stick there from Warburton. Green. Fires that one across. It's come loose to Herman who almost got a shot off. Finds Ruckis. Puck goes over the net. It's picked up by Ross Green now. Finds Herman. Dylan Lawrence with the shot. It's found its way back to Ruckis on the rebound and it's 5-1. Two goals and an assist for Tom's Ruckus. Eight seconds left of the period and it's 5-1 to the Lightning. And just like last week against Peterborough, a phenomenal second period from the Lightning has given some daylight for the home side. Lovely play from Tom's Ruckus. And uh, Herman's happy just to keep shoulder park there and see off the end of this period. So. Two goals from Dylan Lawrence, a washed out goal for the net being on its moorings for Solway. A Michigan goal from Rory Herman and then a lovely backhand shot from close range from Tom's Ruckis has given the Lightning a 5-1 lead. Yeah, Daphne, I think the main thing is killing this game off, making sure the job's done right and play hard and at the same time preserve themselves for tomorrow. Yeah. Face off win there from Dylan Lawrence to Ben Solder. And we do want to thank Nando's for the sponsorship of. Yeah, that's a great job guys. from them guys sorting that out and also the guys from. <laughs> Rory Herman again, right in front of the net, firing into the top corner. No chance there for Curtis Warburton. And it was a great play from behind the net. Found Herman in all kinds of space. Great assist there, looked like Dylan Lawrence behind the net. Backhand pass and one shot beats Warburton and that's 6-1 to the Lightning. Shot to get through the man. It does find its way eventually to Dylan Lawrence and it's now with Herman. Herman looking for a shoot and then to open up. Stewart does well to keep the puck in the zone. Back to Dylan Lawrence. Looks to find Stewart and he fires it in. That's a great team ball there. Lovely passing play there. In. Liam Stewart in the right place at the right time. Picks up his eighth goal of the season. Just sneaks underneath Curtis Warburton there. Just to help out as well, puts the uh, net back on its pegs and Max Stewart will chase that clearance. So the shot come past there and it just uh, evaded everyone but Solway will come back through again and they find a goal. A quick release shot and Will Curling got a piece of it but it wasn't able to stay out of the net and John Dunbar, their top scorer, picks up his 21st goal of the season and his 65th point. Momentum as well for their game against Telford tomorrow as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously... 
you're going to take that type of momentum, scoring a goal. You you got you got to take it in, in some way. Other being down seven one, then you you're kind of you're kind of wanting to score one. Ben Brown looks to come forward. He's done very well to control great that. Speed from Ben. He's finding his way back to Brown. And he there it is. That's the hat trick. And that's the hat trick goal. We're wondering who is going to get it first. And it was Rory Herman. Lovely quick awareness there. Gets the loose puck and fires that one past Warburton. He actually picked it just when he was sat behind the net and just retrieved it off of the net and was allowed to go through unopposed. Slight change in this power play line. So with Ben Solder and Ben Brown coming out to alongside Lawrence Rutkiss and Herman. Daphne, Ben Brown's got a heavy shot from the point there as well. I've seen that a few times this season. Very good, it's good, it's good to see that uh -huh. guys get a chance. Solder there found Herman. Herman looked to sell up Dylan Lawrence, but the pass didn't quite work out. And then it's another opportunity there for Tom Swatkiss. We go to the final few seconds. Lightning just happy to uh, see this one out. Backhanded shot comes through, comfortably saved by Warburton. And that is the final score from tonight where it is finished, Milton Keynes Lightning 8, Solway Sharks 2.